Hey everyone, it's Shotzi for the Rough Cuts on Sunday. I hope you all have had a great week. As some of you know, this is my 50th independent review as a rough cutter. And I was originally planning on doing something really great, but I ended up getting two very unexpected new family members this week by the names of Lumpy Princess and Cluid, and they have pretty much sucked up my entire week. So this is gonna be short and sweet, or short for me, so it's gonna be like long and drawn out, you know? It's like I never do anything really short. But, so, I'm gonna be talking about me, you, and everyone we know. It's from 2005, and it was directed by Miranda July, who also stars in the movie. Um, some of you may be familiar with um, her published short stories, definitely worth a read. And it also stars John Hawkes of Deadwood fame. This movie is, a lot of people would describe it as quirky. It kind of has like the feel of Ghost World to me, as well as maybe like Amelie, but not as stylish or quite as like you know, Euro sophisticated as Amelie, but it has that notion that everyone has some sort of weirdness to them or quirk about them. No matter how together they may seem, everyone is a little out there in some way. And it shows how people can have a lot of difficulties connecting and how varying ages throughout life you can either really easily make connections or it just gets more and more difficult and how it's just kind of like a bell curve because the person who seems to see things the most optimistically and the most simplistically is of course little boy played by Brandon Radcliffe who I think just steals the show I think he was seven when he was in this he is hilarious it's just simply adorable and he does a great job he does a really good job and his brother who is played by miles i have to look up his last name i don't remember what it is but he also does a really good job so you see how things differ just that quickly between the eyes of life from the eyes of a seven-year-old to an adolescent and how he starts to interact with girls his age you have basically like Holly Homemaker on one end and then you have these two really fast girls so you see the two complete ends of the spectrum as far as women are concerned and then you go into like the 30 somethings where you have the shoe salesman who is the boy's father and recently separated and he and Miranda July's character, who's a performance artist in this, have a lot of difficulty just kind of connecting with people their own age. And even like um, John Hawke's character with his sons, he has difficulty connecting with them. But there's still love, and you don't really know how to express that love and care. But it all kind of comes together in the end. It's a great story, and you see life through the eyes of different people at different stages from the child up to the elderly couple who's in this but it's a really sweet movie it's very well done very well directed from Miranda July the cast is great and I highly recommend it I came across this movie when oh I saw it a while ago a little while ago I don't remember what I was doing but then recently, I kind of revisited this movie when a group of friends and I were talking about how one of my friends said that he had never seen movies directed by women. And so the rest of us were like, oh, there are a whole lot of movies that are directed by women. We started naming off like a whole bunch of different ones. And then this came up and we all start talking about this movie. He had never heard of it. And so we're like, no, this is awesome. It's a really good movie. And so I decided to revisit it, and it's just, it is. It's a really well done, sweet film. And you should definitely check it out. My husband, he gives it three out of five stars. He said it's a little slow for him, so for some people it might be slow, because this is, it's a very much 
a character driven movie. So no action, just a lot of dialogue, a lot of feeling, and it's just, it's very, it's, I hate to use this word, but it's poignant. It's very poignant. And it's, it's nicely done, so definitely check it out. And I will see you all next week. I think that's all that I want to say. Well, it's all I'm going to say for now. So I'll see you all next week. Check out this movie. I'll see you then. Bye.